Hello balloon friends, what's up? It's me Eddie Bath aka Mr. Magikio coming at you from Tokyo, Japan. Today we're going to be looking at some more balloon routines, performance tips, tricks and jokes to add to your twisting repertoire. Now, when I'm twisting at a kid's birthday party, I like to make something really big and complicated for the birthday kid uh, and then many other small things for all of the other guests that are there. Uh, the problem is, is with all of the smaller things, usually they just turns out to be a huge queue uh, of kids waiting. Uh, and after like three or four kids, everyone is actually getting a little bit bored. So what I do is I throw in some of these uh, little performance routines every third or fourth uh, balloon child. Uh, today's routine is called the Eda Mame routine. Uh, it's very similar to a lot of other disappearing balloon bubble tricks we have. Uh, here in Japan, Eda Mame are like these little green beans uh, that people have. Uh, a lot of you may know those from Japanese restaurants. Uh, they're all across the world now. Uh, right, without further ado, let's get into the edamame trick. All right, guys, who wants to see a magic trick? Me. Okay, let's do an edamame magic trick because I'm feeling a little bit hungry right now. I feel like a snack. Who likes edamames? Edamames are delicious, aren't they, guys? All right, well, edamames are green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this green balloon and just give it a puff of air. An edamame! That's probably the easiest balloon I can make. Who would like an edamame? Nope, you wanted a balloon sword? Okay, don't worry, I'll make you a balloon sword. Let's do a magic trick with this edamame first then. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this edamame like this. Can everyone see the edamame? Okay, I'm gonna take it like this. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. I'm gonna take the edamame. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, it jumped across again. All right, here we go, one more time. A one, two, oh, mm, 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 <laughs> Whoa, that was delicious. Let's try a whole, mm, 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 <laughs> All right, guys, one more time. <laughs> the edamame trick. All right, guys, only joking. Who wants a balloon sword? All right, guys, that's the edamame routine. Let's get in how to do it. Uh, some of you are probably, almost all of you, are probably familiar with the uh, balloon dog poodle tail where you stretch out the end of the balloon. You're going to give it uh, a few stretches just to stretch that latex out so the air finds the easiest path up to it. Uh, and now you are going to twist off this little bubble of air here and then give that uh, a squeeze to bring the poodle's tail up. So the edamame trick is basically using the same principle uh, as this poodle tail. So if you can already do this, I'm sure you can already do the uh, edamame trick as well. So what we do before we uh, start the trick is we're going to need to we're gonna to need to stretch this middle bit of balloon here, just enough space for uh, this edamame bubble to come into. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a nice stretch. Now you can pre-stretch this balloon and have it somewhere uh, already prepared, which saves you having to do this. Uh, but let's be realistic. No one's got time for that. We're just on the fly at the party and it's like, oh, I think I'm just gonna squeeze this little routine in while the kids are looking bored. So I'm, I'm actually doing this bit of uh, stretching the balloon while uh, I'm talking to the kids. And my focus isn't on this, my focus is talking to them and then they're usually not watching this bit too much either. That should be nice and stretched now. So then we're just gonna give it a small puff of air about so big. Uh, make sure it's not too big. That's, uh, you know, it's got to be big enough, uh, basically, to look like a bean. So we'll tie that off. There we go. So we've got our edamame shape. Now we've got to get this bubble down into the middle of the balloon. This is actually the tricky bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to squeeze this bubble. But with my first finger, what I'm doing is I'm actually making a little tunnel like that. I'm not squeezing it completely tight, otherwise the air won't be able to get through. But I'm making this little tunnel shape, which is not big enough for this whole uh, edamame bean to get through. So I'm going to give it a squeeze, like here. And I'm going to squeeze with one, two, three, these fingers here. Now, they're going to uh, push that air the air is not strong enough to get through this uninflated 
uh, unstretched bed of the balloon. So it rushes to the next bit, path of easiest resistance, which is right here in the middle, which is where we stretched it out. So now we've got our edamame all prepared. And so now you're gonna get your hands back into your, um, your magic uh, pose, uh, where you're gonna be able to make it jump up and down. So I'll just show you from here. Again, I'm making this little, this little tunnel shape, I'm gonna call it here. And then with these, I'm gonna squeeze one, two, three like this, and that's gonna jump back up to the top. And so this hand, which is here, this is doing the same, but the tunnel shape is with your pinky finger. So I'm going to squeeze now with the other fingers down, and they're gonna pop here, and then I'm gonna pop back up again. So obviously you're, you're seeing it like that, they're not seeing that. So you're going to squeeze that down and it jumps to here. So we're gonna have it start here, and we're gonna come and I'm gonna squeeze it and it's gonna jump up there, but obviously this hand needs to be hiding the uh, balloon. Uh, and then when we squeeze it down, it's gonna pop back up. So that's the mechanics of the trick. We'll just try that one more time, hopefully you can see. It's gonna pop up to the top. And with the little finger there, you're gonna bring it back down. Okay. Next bit is about uh, suspended belief. You need to believe the edamame is there and you need to keep your eyes on where you're pretending it is. So what we're doing is we're squeezing the bubble up to the top, but actually when we squeeze the bubble up to the top, we're pretending that it's in this hand and we're pulling it down. So we're pulling this down here and what's really good is to put your eyes on to the the empty hand and pretend it's in there. And as you're looking at it, the audience's eyes will also go to the hand and then you're gonna throw it onto the balloon. One, two, three, hoo, and it's come back. Uh, and so again, we're gonna pull it down, look into this hand, one, two, three. So that essentially is the trick. And then after that, you can do uh, a number of uh, routines with it. Uh, again, you have the rule of threes. You can do it twice. The third time's gonna be a bit boring, so you try and embellish it. So we're doing it once, twice, Third time, we need to do something different. So we're gonna to pretend to put the edamame into our mouth. Oh, and then we're gonna take our tongue and just poke your tongue out the side of your mouth there. Um, this edamame trick's fantastic to teach younger kids uh, a magic trick um, because they're all just about able to do it. It's hilarious actually with kindergarten kids because uh, they actually probably find doing the, the tongue bit more tricky because they go, um, and as, a, as an adult, I'm sure you guys can do that. You're just gonna poke your tongue out and then you pat your tongue and it's gonna bounce onto the other, the other side. So it's poof, and then you blow it out. So again, you can do that twice. And then the third time, let's do something else more interesting. Uh, that time you're gonna throw it in the air. You're gonna catch it, throw it in the air. You catch it again. Third time, do something different. This time I like to pretend it's bouncing. So I take it off, I throw it, boom, 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 and then I pretend to catch it. That's the end of the edamame routine. You can also continue this routine uh, and put the edamame inside a Diamond Clear Balloon 260 and make it a dog who's had a delicious snack. Uh, I think the original version of this trick, I've seen it done usually with a different color, with a red balloon and people like turn it into a, a clown's nose. Um, and anyway, there's a bunch of stuff you can do uh, with this trick. But it really is one of my favorite tricks because it's just tricky enough for the kids to be impressed. Um, and it's just easy enough for the parents. To be honest, on the first time round, they're usually actually pretty impressed. And then the second time, the parents are like, oh, clever, you know, how silly. That's, you know, that's not even real magic. Uh, you know, and after a while, the older kids will get it as well, but it's, that's my style of magic. It's something more fun for the kids to laugh at, you know, like the classic, uh, you know, disappearing thumb trick. It's terrible magic, but it's so terrible that the kids, it's like telling a terrible joke. It's so terrible uh, that the kids actually really enjoy it. And then you see them actually trying to do it themselves, you know, the thumb trick, or you see, you can give them just that, you know, you can give them a balloon and be like, oh, you know, go off and show your friends, do, do the trick yourself. Um, so it really is one of my favorite tricks. That's the edamame routine. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, please do uh, give me thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, I got so much free time, it's crazy. If you would like to see any more tutorials, you have any requests, you can always put that in the comments and I do read them. Uh, so thanks to everyone that has given me some positive feedback. 
Uh, really, really appreciate it. And see you next time. Okay, take care, guys. Bye-bye.